Okay, so uh, where are we starting with this? So my peri-peri sauce is a little different. There's some ginger, garlic, um, onions in the pan. Okay. Um, I throw in some chilies, two different types of chilies, bird eye chili and habanero. Okay. Because, you know, peri-peri could be spicy. I like it super spicy. I think you're a spicy guy. I like guy. it spicy too. So this is just like two, two um, bird's eye chili, one habanero. Where do you get bird's eye chili from? So bird's eye chili, you can find them in like uh, Chinatown or really um, cultural H Mart. Um, a, a Kroger. Which a, one of the bird's these eye? These are bird's eye right here. I got you. Is that hotter than a habanero? No, not, not hotter than a habanero. Okay. But habanero, I'm not going to touch that because yeah. I don't want to burn myself. Right. And was there a little bit of oil in there before you so, started? Oh, yeah. Some, some olive oil. Okay. You can use any type of oil. I also recommend a little bit of grapeseed oil for okay. a high smoke point. Okay. Um, some plum tomatoes. Okay. I just breathed breathe in some of those chilies. <laughs> like the smoke, like it's like, it's hot. I'm just gonna, this is going to be a rough one for me, I know. <laughs> When I, you say you when you say you like hot, I think you you might like it hotter than I like it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. I'm not gonna kill you today. Don't okay. worry. So just some tomatoes here. Okay. A little bit of tomato paste, like a tablespoon. Okay. Orange juice. Orange juice. I'm all about the orange juice. I like the citrus level on the orange juice. Yeah. Stir this in. Okay. Can you give me a little zest? Sure. So just a little bit of this, just right? Just a little bit. A little love. I want the Harry love. I love it, man. Is that enough? That's enough. Okay. So you're gonna just let this stew. And it should look like this. So now oh boy, we're here and it's getting like, it just stews down. So this is something that you can forget about, walk away, talk to a loved one at home, watch a show. Speaking of loved ones, you have baby twins at home. I have twins at home. Six months. Six months, a boy and a girl. That's amazing, congratulations. Thank you very much. So you have to, you have to divide your time now. I have to divide my time a lot, yeah, a lot now. But my wife does a great job with them. So, so yeah, we stew this down here. Okay. And then, get this pan really hot. Okay. This is for our prawns or your shrimp at home. All I right. like to, I like the prawns because I like the head on. Okay. Can you use frozen, frozen shrimp if you have to? Yeah, one hundred percent. You can use frozen shrimp. Okay. So this is what they look like. I marinate them in some chili flakes, olive oil, parsley. So just a little bit of salt. I love the way professional chefs throw that salt around. It gets everywhere. If I try that at home, Jill would kill me. <laughs> Uh-oh. He wants some of that sauce, too. They want that sauce, too. Now, this, from my experience, you don't cook these very long, right? No, you're going to cook them for one minute, 30 seconds on each side. Did you smell that? Yeah. Oh, boy. It smells really good. And, and every dish in the cookbook you can make for six people. OK. These are all things you can make at home. You don't have to feel like you're a professional chef. There are things you can do with your family. There's oxtail dumplings in the book. Oh, yeah. Or you can do things a couple steps. This doesn't look, and I mean this with all due respect, doesn't look that hard. Like, no. I, I feel like I could do this. I want you to do this. OK. So yeah, you just waited getting a little bit of golden brown. Oh, boy. You flip them over. It's so simple, you know? Very simple. The key is the hot pan. So they're going to take some of the peri-peri sauce here. Oh, and just man. Put it right on top, as you can see. I think if I could only have one kind of food, it, this might be it. That oh, yes. looks so good. Just bring it all together. OK, and we, are we close to the end of the process? Yes, we're very close. So some key ingredients here, some yam flapjacks. Yam flapjacks. I Can I just start eating just one go, by myself? Just go, throw one in there. I'll try that. OK. Oh, man. Oh, it's so good. I have some apple slaw there for you. Can you come back and teach us how to make that, just that? I, I, you I, kind of glossed over the yam flapjacks. Very simple. I, when I come back, I got Oh, you. boy. You can have them for breakfast. You can throw the peri-peri sauce. But one thing before I cannot you taste wait. This, I cannot wait. Hurry up. This might make you back it up. <laughs> might make me back it up? Might make you back it up. <laughs> Some apple slaw on top. All you. How did that happen? Look at how beautiful that is. That is so beautiful. Enjoy. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my. Give me a hug. Oh, my goodness. JJ, you have to come back. Definitely. Thank you very much. Like, every day. <laughs>